I went into this video wanting to film a day in the life of a bin man. I came out of it learning a lot more. This video is a short documentary on what it is like to spend a day as a bin man in Ireland. The premise is that we see bin men every day in the streets, but we don't really know what their day to day life is like. So I spent 12 hours trucking around with an actual bin man learning what it's like and what are some of the big issues he faces on a day to day basis. We're going to cut into the video after I had failed to get someone from Dublin City Council and instead we had a day organised with a bin man who works for a company that a friend of a friend of a friend's dad owns. Enjoy the video. I think I'm losing my mind Trying to stay inside the lines It's like you're running in place How you keep staying the same Boy, boy, baby, I I guess I'm something different And I'm okay with that You see, the route we were going to take for this Day in the Life video was through Nace, and I'm renting in Leopardstown, so there was no way I was gonna get a taxi there in the morning. I went into my Instagram, put out the call, does anybody live in Nace who can let me sleep on their couch for a night? And Justine came through. Justine? Hi. In the morning time, I'm gonna get up at around five or half five, meet him there for quarter past six or something like that. Am I in a blow up mattress or a bed? Yes. My fucking god, it's so wet. To be honest, man, it's not as bad as I thought. I thought there was going to be bins flying all over the place. Oh, there's a bin down over there, actually. Center bound. No chicken filler rolls yet, though. Made it, baby. Woo! I made it to the bin, or I made it to Centra. Now it's due to come in like 10, 15 minutes, I think so. A few moments later. I think this could be him, boys. Bit time, baby. Bit time, baby. So you just attach the bin to the back and then it like flips it itself no, into No, this, this is a commercial one. It's not it lifted to weight. This is Noel. A resident bin man for Allied Recycling Company and my Yoda of waste management for the day. If the chip works and the bill is paid, it lets the bin in. Right. If it's not paid, the bill is not paid, it won't. It'll just go right and stop. And you think over time people want to get their bins emptied more because they're just producing more waste? They are producing a lot more. Walking, going in now to blocks of flats and the bins were this high, right? Absolutely overflowing. I said, Jesus, we need more bins. You go back the next week and extra is all, all the bins are full. This high now, they're, even though there's two exits. I said, fuck it, I'll get two more. Get two more in, come back the next week. Now you've got double the amount of bins, but they're all still full. Yeah. And what you've created was, you basically told people, oh, there's plenty of bins here. So they went, oh, we can create more rubbish. There's more rubbish to go in. Yeah. And when I was living in Sweden, I had nine bins, steel, tin foil, all separate. You go to the supermarket with your empty cans and your empty bottles, and you go into the foyer, and there's a machines here on the, and you feed them into it, and they'll give you a ticket, and that's money. Yeah, heavy. This is heavy. 150. Uh, we're going to finish this town. We head up in the industrial estate. We hit that. Then we hit Kilcock. Then we go into Minute. There's some houses in Minute. I'll have to look at my sheet to be do houses in Minute this week. And then that's the last of the houses. And it's industry the rest of the day. As the day went on, the topic of waste and how much we produce came up. Noel explained about a particular product that is rampant in supermarkets across the country and the globe. Fish come in these boxes. Which? Fish. So they're full of ice and the fish come in them. When they take the fish out, they're not reused. You can't do anything with them but put them in the land ground, in the ground, bury them. That's stuff the last 20,000 years and it'll still be there. Like if you consider, you know if you bought a, a freezer box, that's what's lined the freezer box. 
on one use product and in the bin. You name it, it'll be in it, lads. You've got DVDs. DVDs. Oh, no, 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 any amount of it. You really hear the crunch that this baby makes when it goes in. <laughs> and a board for you. Do you want a board? What's that? No, it's uh, anyway. but, uh, The whole, this bin is full, like. Full and full and full. Chicago is such a plastic, right? And then this is where we dispose of general waste. See it down in a second. You see this baby. There's your general waste. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's a small pile. That's where your waste ends up, lads. And you're, you're missing a point too, look. What? Look, look at through the door, the little door. Watch the fat the conveyor belt there. Look at all the shitting up on the conveyor belt. That's the cardboard conveyor belt. No, this is the waste. This is waste. That's cardboard. That's recyclable stuff. Oh my god. This is what we create. This is what we create every hour. This is what we I went into this video wanting to film a day in the life of a bin man and came out of it learning a lot more. The issues of sustainability, the issues of how much waste that we generate were things I discovered during the process. And I think it brings up a broader topic around what can we do to prevent waste? Can we look at smarter ways to segregate the waste that we already have? And ultimately what I wanted to achieve with this video was A, to bring awareness to the great work that all the bin men and women do around the country. And B, I guess make stuff like this front of mind. Because often these issues, if they're not brought to your attention, you're just gonna forget about them and not do anything. Hopefully with videos like this, help make a bit of a difference if it's in our own way. So yeah, if you've made it to the end of the video, I'm gonna do a small rant. I hope everybody had a great 2018. I certainly did. I put up on my Instagram the other day of all the different things I've done. Traveling to Japan and South Korea was amazing. Going to France in August with my best friend Sean and his friend Nate, we jumped off this mad cliff. Whoa! And a bunch of other stuff. But I think the one that I'm most proud of and the one that I'm taking forward into 2019 is, I was like setting my goals over the past couple of days. And there's a question that I read online. It's, if this was to be the last year of my life, what would I want to do? And I'm sure there's lots of things that people would want to do. Like you you'd probably want to ask someone out on a date or go for a skydive or go to a country you've never been to before. But if there was only one thing that you could do and the first thing that came to mind for me, reach a huge amount of people with these videos because ultimately they live on after I'm dead and they have like a lasting impact. I guess in 2019, what I really want to focus on is putting out good content and that's meaningful to me. That whole vlogging thing that I did in college and everything, that's still going to be an element of what I do and there's definitely going to be check-ins for the moment anyway the feeling I have is doing stuff that's very meaningful to me and I think that can make an impact is what I want to move this channel towards also one other thing we need a name for the squad I was thinking hi mam fam is that a bit ick? if people can suggest better names in the comment section that'd be great but for the moment hi mam fam I'll see you soon happy 2019 to y'all peace Thank you.